just the fact that your son sees you grinding, I think is more valuable than talking to him, you know, as much as you'd like to. He, he like, he's awesome because he understands, he understands what I'm doing. And I, whenever he tells people like what I'm doing that he's like, Oh, my daddy's studying to become a PA. And they ask him, what's a PA? Oh, like a doctor. <laughs> and I'm like, uh-huh. okay. that's cool. Or like, he would like, when he would see me like so stressed, there was one thing I told him to tell me, <laughs> but like it, it's like it's like adorable when he says it. I'm studying. I'm always studying. You start really appreciating just the little tiny bit of like exercise or the little tiny bit of things that you used to like take for granted. <laughs> Throughout this uh, this little interview we were doing, I heard Elijah sniffling a little bit, and that oh, was my next topic, which is wellness in PA school. Well. These are like my chronic allergies. It's it's the garden state. Oh and, yeah. You know, there's like pollens <laughs> everywhere. So I'm gonna be sniffling. I took my my antihistamines. Like I'm I'm okay. I'm just trying to let it kick in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, but I'm definitely sniffling a lot during class today, and I I, I sounded pretty annoying. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the age of COVID, you co you like cough one time, and everyone thinks that you have the plague. That's the thing too. I even have a classmate who had COVID, and she had to like. I call off a couple days and yeah, I don't know how she's going to do it. Cause we were having an exam like up the wazoo, but yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> wellness. Oh man. Wellness. How do you stay completely... physically, mentally, emotionally well during PA school? Oh man. I had a completely different, I have the same outlook, but different results. Now that I'm in the thick of it, I think just, this is going to be like a kind of like a real one here. So yeah. In the beginning, I was like such a supporter of like, yeah, like, you know, take take, take the time you need to yourself, you know, it's going to be okay, you need this time to relax. But man, I'm getting like two exams a week, <laughs> like barely, barely any time alone to like, study outside of class. Like, I'm, I'm going to the gym like once or twice a week when I used to go like almost every day. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm still making time for church, which I think is important to me. I'll never like, that's like a non-negotiable for me. Um, but sleep is definitely getting sacrificed here. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Putting, giving it up to, <laughs> to the gods. Yeah. Right. I think it's funny that Elijah said, you know, now that I'm in the thick of it, when I started PA school back in the day, uh, you know, I was thinking like I would focus on health and this and that. And now that I'm in the thick of it, things are different. He's been in the thick of it for a week, guys. Okay, so just put it into perspective. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I still look so much. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm gonna look yeah. like at the end of the semester. <laughs> it was literally like a week in PA school feels like a whole semester because you just learn so much crap and you have like three exams and projects. It's just it's so much. Co- it's not even. I don't think it's hard personally. I just think it's too much to memorize at once. Yeah, it is. Like I'm. I'm. I was really striving for that A, which I, I'm still kind of like on that route, but I'm getting to the point where the, the tests are getting so close in between that I can't even study completely everything to the extent that I want to, right? Because I like to go over things at least three times. Mm-hmm. I like to hear it in class. I like to review my notes after, and I'll do like Quizlet flashcards on key. Mm-hmm. And if I'm lucky and I have like an extra like four time to look it over, then I'll do like practice questions and just look at the slides again. But that's, I don't have time anymore. No, you <laughs> don't. Over everything. You really don't. But somehow, I don't know. I remember like reading something and posting something on Instagram while I was in PA school. Cause like I made time for the gym. I, I refused to not have time for the gym, even when things were kind of crazy. Finals week, you're sleeping two hours a night, whatever. Okay. I'll skip the gym. But like during the <laughs> semester, I I made the gym a priority and I think it was something like some kind of chemical process that happens while you're, you know, exercising makes uh, learning retention and everything better. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I just thought it was important. And somehow I got through, you know, even though I went to the gym and a lot of people didn't. So yeah, that's really funny. Like I, I, I was studying at the gym last night. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I had my, I had my Anki cards on the treadmill. I'm going like, uh, huh. <laughs> Don't fall off. <laughs> go, go through your slide. No, I was I was walking, walking speed. Good. So, yeah, I'm not yeah, a runner. Well, but I have to study sets, the gym. <laughs> yeah, try to figure out how to incorporate it in between sets of lifting or like on the bike or whatever. 
maybe skip the treadmill or the elliptical and just get on one of those bikes and just like look at your phone and do your Anki uh, or Quizlet, like figure it out, but definitely try to make it a priority. You'll just, you'll just feel better. You'll learn better. You'll feel better. Yeah. Yeah. So but wellness, I think, even though like I'm dying right now, <laughs> <laughs> I, I still think it's important. Uh, there, there's a, there's a couple of things I won't like negotiate. Like, yeah, like church, like that, right has to it's a thing me and my family do an hour a week Sundays I have I have to have that no matter if I have a test the next day like mm -hmm. I need that because it's my like mental one of my only mental breaks during the week mm -hmm. other than that like I'm studying or I'm incorporating studying into like when I'm cooking or when I'm like eating like dinner and granted my wife doesn't like electronics at the table but I you know she's okay with it for now yeah. um <laughs> or like 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 I said earlier like even at the at the gym just studying at the gym or like walking the class like you got to find ways to fit studying in to your like your everyday tasks because mm -hmm. there's no way like you're gonna have time to like separate and not multitask because if you if you can't do that then something's gonna have to give right and yeah you end up sacrificing it's funny i remember while i was getting my pce hours for pa school i was working at a gastroenterology practice and we checked in this, like I was mm -hmm. a medical assistant. So we like check the person in, get their vitals. And this girl was there as a patient and she had her laptop on, like just typing away furiously. And I asked her like, yeah. what do you do? She goes, I'm a PA student at Lemoyne, which is a school I ended up going to. So of course I was like full of questions and I was like, oh man, how is it? How'd you get in? Uh, what are you doing on your laptop? And she's like, I'm studying. I'm always studying. And so like everybody in the waiting room was just like bored, reading a magazine, playing on their phone. She is studying her butt off. And mm -hmm. I thought that was a little extra until I got to PA school and realized, oh shit, no, you need to bring your laptop and your phone and your books everywhere. Because when uh -huh. you have like, 30 seconds, you better be like learning one thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you incorporate it into your life. I ended up like, I used to have these like little phone games for as part of my wellness. <laughs> yep. They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> <That's gone. laughs> it, it started making me procrastinate so I, it had to go I feel like what it sounds like so I'm not a parent you're a parent maybe you can enlighten me here but uh like I heard like when you have kids you start really appreciating just the little tiny bit of like exercise or the little tiny bit of things that you used to like take for granted yeah like even even like simple dinners right uninterrupted yeah. dinners because that was our thing before uninterrupted dinners but now I'm like sitting at the table Yep. Uh, granted, we're all together, but like just to have that conversation with my son and like ask him how his day went, I'm just so. I feel horrible because I'm like I'm so like stressed with mine that I feel like I didn't ask him enough about his day, and you know we're in a new state, you know it's a new environment for him. I should be doing these things, but I I think it's I'm just trying to find my group for now because I'm still like in the beginning, so I'm still trying to find that flow, and once I do that, hopefully like things will start to, you know get better one thing I, I really want to say about that which has nothing to do with wellness but just the fact that your son sees you grinding i think is more valuable than talking to him you know as much as you'd like to he he like he's awesome because he understands he understands what i'm doing and i yeah. whenever he tells people like what i'm doing that he's like oh my daddy's studying to become a pa and they ask him like, oh, what's a pa oh like a doctor <laughs> and i'm like uh, okay that's cool or like he would like when he would see me like so stressed, there was one thing I told him to tell me, <laughs> but like it, it's like it's like adorable when he says it. Mm -hmm. It's not almost egotistical. I, I tell him like if I get stressed, just tell me I'm gonna make it and that I'll be a PA. So yeah. that whenever like I I get look stressed, like I'm at the dinner table or I'm staying up late, like sometimes I'll wake up, like he'll come downstairs and I'll be like, Dad, are you okay? Don't worry, I think you'll be a PA still. <laughs> oh my <laughs> like, god! Wait, how old is your son? <laughs> He's seven. Oh my god, that's freaking awesome! Yeah, so like that—that that gets me through it. It's that a gets family me. affair. <laughs> I really love that. Um, yeah, I, I just want you to like not feel guilty about spending less time with him than you'd like to, because just the fact that he sees you like like struggling and going through something hard makes him know that he can do it too. Mm -hmm. You know, which like a lot of peer like kids with ambitious parents who like work a lot. Like, yeah, some of them get pretty screwed up because the parents don't spend any time with them. But at the same time, kids with really lazy parents who are always around but aren't really doing jack shit, you know, yep. these kids get screwed up too. 
Whereas like, I feel like parents like you who like really want to talk to them and do like make a connection, but also like are grinding their butts off. Like, I feel like your son's going to be just this like well-rounded, really successful dude. Who's like, all right, yes, there's time for, you know, being around people, but like you do have to work and this is what it looks like. And this is how it feels. And mm -hmm. my dad was doing it. So I can totally go and kick butt too. Just like setting a good example over literally, literally all that yeah. word salad to say you're setting a good example. Thanks for that uh, affirmation. I think I needed that. <laughs> well, the thing is, I think I needed it as a kid and I didn't get it. So I'm like, man, I wish my parents were like grinding while I was a kid because I would have seen it. Right. And known what to do. Yeah. Because they were always like, get good grades. You know, you really need good grades. But then they were just like not doing a whole lot. They were just kind of lazy. Well, mm -hmm. mom was working a lot. Dad was kind of lazy. We'll, we'll go with that. Uh, but he was the one always telling me to get good grades, but then I see him like watching TV all the time. And it's like, all right, bro, something's not congruent. Whereas your kiddo <laughs> sees you like grinding it out and like working. And then he's going to be like, okay, yeah, dad puts his money where his mouth is. And now look at this like sick house we get to live in one day. And like, it, oh, it's yeah. just, you know what I mean? I mean, it helps. It, it also depends on the type of kid you have. He's just very understanding. So um, yeah. I'm like, I'm blessed. Hey, that's a good outlook too. That's a good outlook. <laughs> But in the last two minutes of the Zoom recording, just going back to wellness in PA school, it's like anything else, man. It's like sleep and eating. You're going to take it for granted, but try to make it part of your life. Try to eat a little healthier, less carbs. You'll feel less sluggish during school, you know. Uh, try to stay hydrated. Drink alkaline water. Freaking, if you're not a gym person, at least take a walk. Take a walk in between classes. You have 15 minutes in between class instead of freaking out. And reviewing your note cards one last time, go take like a five minute walk. Like it'll just make a difference. You know? These little things add up. Yeah. Do. Like, I think that. eating healthy, yeah, eating healthy, walking. I agree with everything Boris is saying because I'm doing that. And if I wasn't doing that, I think I'd be even more dead looking. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And I think I would actually put exercise above sleep. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, I agree with that. I know it's not popular, but I would actually put exercise above sleep. And uh, I'll say that because my second year of PA school, I uh, I made gym like a huge priority. I got into like ridiculous shape because I was, I don't know. Those of you who know me, you know why. I was really motivated. And like since then, motivations decreased a little bit for obvious reasons. Uh, but like I was extremely motivated and like I would get off a rotation at like 11 o'clock at night. I had a 24-hour gym. I would go lift. And if I had to sleep four hours, I'd sleep four hours. And like somehow I still made it, but like, I think exercise, especially when you're in that like fight or flight state, which you're in constantly in PA school, um, oh, I think exercise yeah. and like pushing weights around or running or doing something with your body makes it more okay than just being stressed and sitting and being stressed and sitting. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're moving, your body kind of knows what to do. If that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, I, I think it's important even before start starting school, if you guys haven't started yet, yeah, find a rhythm now because you can find a rhythm while you're in school because just getting into the habit of going to the gym is another struggle in, in it of itself. Like we we're telling you now, like wellness involves exercise, but like you have to find that rhythm where you're not going to feel burned out from working out and burned out from your school. Like the only reason I'm able to do it now is because I already had like a hectic schedule before school and I was still able to fit in gym time. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. So I'm, I'm used to it. I'm used to feeling even more tired at the end of the day. <laughs> I completely agree. Uh, let me do a new Zoom recording just so we can finish this topic out. Are we, oh, we were still talking about wellness. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Elijah made a really good point. Like one thing you should probably start doing before PA school even starts is try to get into some of these healthy habits, like walking right before bed, walking right when you get up in the morning, going to the gym, those things, because there'll be... They'll be harder to carry through during PA school, but they will kind of keep you going. Yeah, like you'll do it for the first week when there's like not really anything to do. Uh -huh. And then second week, third week hits, all those exams hit and you're like, oh, well, I'm going to sacrifice gym time or exercise. Over time, you just feel worse and worse. So, mm -hmm. yeah, this might be a bit of a spicy topic. Uh <laughs> Some people may not like it, but I did notice that a lot of people got very much out of shape in PA school. Uh, like people had started having skin problems and people got, you know, started carrying a lot more body weight than they than they did when they came in. Um, and then pretty quickly after graduating, they lost it. You know, people started looking better and feeling better. Um, but I noticed like when the semester would start, 
the gym would be full and I would see all these classmates in there. I'd be like, oh, hey, what are you doing here? I haven't seen you here before. And then like as the semester wore on, I, I felt like I was like one of the only people there. And there was like two other people maybe that were consistently at the gym. And then mm -hmm. like, I guess my point is like, it will make you feel better. It will help you learn, believe it or not. And it'll kind of like make you less stressed. One, because exercise makes you less stressed. Two, it'll help you learn because it'll take your mind away from things. So you're just, it's just better, man. Like just take my word for it. Try to stay in shape throughout PA school. Don't go crazy, but do something every day to move your body. It, it's just, it's better for you. I mean, you got two people here who've like gone through the pre-PA and the PA yep. and like doing like fitness and gym and we're, we made it. So, you know, Absolutely. it doesn't take much to like, to put 30 minutes aside just for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's totally valid. And also, okay, this was, so I, I gained some weight in PA school my first year and then I lost it all the second year. But my first year, this is what killed me. They had this freaking special that was fries, and they were good ass fries, and a drink like a soda for like two dollars. And you're broke, and so you're broke. And there's these like tasty fries and this tasty soda, and it's like two dollars, and you just get it every day. And then you look down, and you're like, "Well, where the crap did that come from?" And oh god, the food, man. Be careful with the food. Our food is not that good in our campus here, so I'm oh. I'm lucky. <laughs> I don't know. It's like college all over again. It's like pizza everywhere all the time. All the dining halls are kind of far away from me, so I'm happy for that. And on oh, top of lucky. that, my like my wife and I like meal prep at the end of the week. So Oh, uh, you're so lucky. Yeah, I got a I got a partner who helps me. I mean, I'm not cooking every night. She definitely like while she's waiting to get into med school, she's like, you know, taking on the brunt of the household work. Yeah. Yeah, like while I find my rhythm, but like she's helping a lot with that too. So that's Elijah's advice is drink water, try to get some exercise and have a partner that makes you healthy food. <laughs> Do it with them. Meal prep with them. You don't yeah. want to be you want to be that person. <laughs> well, that's that's going to be your pre-PA plan is you need to find an exercise routine, start going to the gym and marry a partner who cooks. And so like if you don't do those things, you're not going to make it through PA school. It'll help. It'll help. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. I don't know. I, anyway, we're off that topic now. But yeah, guys, try to stay healthy. It's important. It'll make you feel better. It'll make you learn better. The end. It sucks because one of my classmates has COVID. So we can't get our test from our last like two exams. So I'm like, what? Yeah, after I was like, what the heck, man? Like, I just want to know how bad I did. <laughs> oh, my God. You're such a PA student. Wait, why is this off the but record? I mean, Oh, uh, well, I, uh, cause I, I thought I was going to use a cuss word in there, but I, I guess oh. I didn't. Yeah. So this is probably going to go in the wellness part. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. This is Elijah being like such a classic PA student. Like one of his classmates has COVID. And so it's delaying the grading of the exams and he's all stressed out because he just wants to know if he passed or not. I'm still making sure she's okay though. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure your student is fine. But it's like, hey, how dare you get COVID? And now I have to like delay knowing if I pass this exam by another day or two. <laughs> Come on. I want to know my grade the moment I hit submit. And like the scary thing is that she actually has started showing up to class again, just because like she's at a point where she may fall behind too much mm -hmm. or she'll have to like, you know, I don't know, take a leave of absence or something or like she might fall behind and all the tests will start piling up. Yeah. I just don't realistically see her catching up if she's sick for too long, which is kind of concerning. I I should probably check on her. <laughs> Man, it, it's true. Like you get sick for a week and if you're not like grinding while you're sick, like you're going to fall so behind. I mean, she's on Zoom and all that, but like I know if I get sick, I'm sitting in the back of the class just sniffling away. <laughs> yeah, literally. I don't remember people getting sick in PA school. I'm sure people did. I probably did too. I, I just like, man, I guess this just goes back to like walking and exercise and trying to sleep and stay hydrated and not eating yeah. food is like, you'll be less likely to get sick. Yeah. And if you get sick, like you'd fall way behind and it makes this like tough thing even tougher. Your immune system just boosted. If like, if, if you're really looking after your body. Yeah. hundred percent. Like you need to move your lymphatic fluid and the only way to move it because the heart pumps blood. So the arteries get a lot of blood. 
have mm-hmm. your valves and you have to move your muscles in order to pump the venous blood. And then lymph has no heart and no valves. So it's just kind of like free floating. So mm-hmm. lymphatic fluid needs you to exercise, needs you to at least walk, if not at least like do some sort of squats or whatever, and like upper body exercises to move it. And lymphatic fluid is where all of your germs are sitting, all your nasty crap that needs to get recycled uh, by your immune system. So if you're not moving your lymphatic fluid, you're going to get sick. So go to the gym, move your body, feel better, be better. PA school. (laughs) Just a little anatomy, anatomy class from Boris. Actually, yeah, about that. So first off, hot tips. This is not medical advice, but ways to prevent getting sick are alkaline, uh, electrolyte infused water. That's one. Two is emergency powder. I like the immune plus. Why do I keep holding it up oh, to my camera when the camera's here? Yeah. This stuff with the vitamins. Oh, yeah. the Those suckers are amazing. Yeah. This, you can like, even use it prophylactically, I think. Literally. Like, it's not just when you get sick. It's like have one every single day while you're sitting next to all oh, these yeah. people, you know, that might be getting sick and whatnot and sneezing on you. Like drink this stuff, wash it down with some alkaline water. Like don't drink only this water, like drink normal water too. But like just those things, like one of these a day and one of these a day help keep me uh, from getting sick. I- I've noticed that in my practice because I get sneezed on 50 times a day, you know, by everyone coughing. And like when I started in primary care and urgent care, I was like, this is disgusting. Like, how are you, how dare you sneeze on me in this office? And then I realized, oh, wait a minute, you're sick. <laughs> and you're at the doctor's office. It's literally my job to get sneezed on and treat you. So like, first off, I got sick yeah. a lot and then I just became immune to everything. Uh, but this is extremely helpful. So not medical advice at all. This is not a medical promise that you will not get sick, but this for me personally does work. And it's not an advertisement either. Emergency sponsor us. Uh, but yeah, it's not at all. <laughs> I love emergency. But yeah, just basically be healthy. Don't get sick because then you'll fall behind in PA school. And that's what you really care about is getting through school, right? You know, another another key to not getting sick is by getting sick so uh, like yeah like because you build your immune response right you build it to those yes exactly yeah so i remember when i was working in the ed i would get sick all the time right mm-hmm. and you know what ever since like i stopped working and i've been here i have not done sick once so oh thank goodness thank you ed thank yeah. you patient soft on me <laughs> literally man like working in medicine if you're just around all these different people with all these different bugs and germs like eventually you just get exposed to a lot of stuff and you're just like immune to it, mm-hmm. you know? which is good. So yeah, wellness in PA school is important. Stay well. Yes. yes. Don't get sick. It's not Don't worth get it. sick. <laughs> Boris the PA.com. Boris the PA.com. Buy the book. <laughs> Buy it. It's good. I swear. <laughs> so I that's going to get tacked on to the uh, wellness video. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. 